Hi everybody, welcome to this new series. I'm gonna call this a new series. I want to record a full song with the wing. I've been thinking and thinking on how to approach this video series because you need a lot of context. In my room here, with uh, the kind of production that I'm running with the wing, all my setup, I had to take my drum away. Some of you may have seen in my past video, actually my drum was set up right here. This setup is more suited for what I'm doing right now. Uh, the background with the console, I, I think it just make a better production for me and for you to watch. I never had the chance to record drum for me to record a full song. This is when I reach out back in January or it was maybe December of 2021 for your help. Lucky enough for me, somebody answered the call and this is where Adam step up. He answered my call and he recorded for us uh, using his wing. I think he used some uh, SD stage box to do that, but it's more than fine. Uh, I don't want to focus on the preamp that we use more on the overall process. He recorded everything to the SD card in the back of the console. This is what we're gonna use for us to play. But uh, eventually I wanna record this like if it was a live performance in the studio. So I'm gonna play back from the SD card in the back, but we will send it into a uh, DAW session, probably Logic. I'm mostly a Logic user now. It will be the same process for pretty much any DAW. So please stick along for the ride. You may learn something here. Along with his SD card file, he sent me the snap file of the console. I will include a link for you to download that snap file in the video description. So this is what Adam sent us. This is exactly what he used to record his drum. First input that you will notice is a uh, TD50 electronic drum pad. This is not gonna be used today. I just want to acknowledge it because it's the first input on the show file. Input number two that we have here is the overhead. Overhead were recorded using an Aston microphone. In channel three and four, we have IATs. Those were recording using SM81, short condenser microphone. Next in line, we have kicks, one, two. Those are using Beta 52s. Snare 1 was a SM57 Classic. Snare 2 and all the toms are using Beta 98 Condenser Microphone for all six tom. The gong is using a B52 also from Shure. And I believe the Octopad are also Shure Beta 98 at the S microphone from what I saw on the video. I don't have the list for those. If you want to take some time and look at the way that the channels are built, uh, this is probably going to help you to just learn the session. This is what we had going. We're probably going to chop that session into drum loops and build a full song with that. I'm going to try to include the minute and a half uh, file so you can load it onto an SD card and you can play it back like I'm going to do right now. I now switch the console into alternate mode using the custom control here. By default, you should have that on your session. It switched all the input from um, AS50 to card playback. And we're gonna take a listen at what Adam sent us.
Routing wise, nothing is going directly into the main out. All those channels are making their way out through two bus, one that is called drum bus and the other one that is called tom bus. If we take a look here at what's going on, we have the overheads that are going into the drum bus. Basically everything is going into the drum bus except the tom. This is where it's switched on one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, the gong is going into both. The octopad are into the drum bus too and everything else is pretty much not used, so it doesn't matter. Uh, something else that is worth mentioning is bus one was used for monitoring into headphone, and I believe uh, bus two was used with a monitor. The TD-15, I believe, is a small floor monitor from Roland. Could be wrong. Moving on to the effect page, we have a couple insert. We have uh, a reverb inserted on snare one, a reverb inserted on snare two. On the drum bus, we have a Neve channel strip. The gate is not used. The EQ is flat and dynamic, maybe compressing a little bit. Do we have anything else in there? Yes, we have a tape distortion. I can see the order here. This is the Neve channel going into the distortion. After that, we have on the Tom bus. Uh, do we have two things? Yes, we do. So what do we have here? We have the bus channel. So the warp, adding some distortion in there. Dynamic, EQ not used. So a little bit of compression and that is going out into a reverb. The VSS3, just to give it some room. The effects mix is 33%, that's pretty high. The two limiters that you see on the right there, this is what I had on the main out, just so I can send out good level for you to listen to. Those are not part of the session at all. That's gonna be it for this first episode of recording a full song with the wing. Uh, in the next episode, I will take these drum send them as if they were played in front of me we're gonna send those into a computer into a daw we're gonna chop them up we're gonna try to build a rhythm for a song and we're gonna have some uh bass going on i will record some bass and guitar probably over the next few episodes if you like that video give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed to the channel subscribe so you can see uh, all the upcoming episode of that series and if you want to support me in what i do think about becoming a member or a super member until these episodes are out please take care of yourself and i will see you guys later <laughs>